My name is Doug with the Shady Lane Paranormal Society with our first investigation, part one of a four part investigation. This is an old farmhouse outside of Fonda, New York, built around 1840. Strange things have happened, and we are here to find out. This is the question we're asking. Are we? Let's have a seat and we'll, uh, we'll discuss what we got going on. Okay. Hello, Eric. Uh, thanks for having me again. Uh, tell you about your house. Well, Doug, it was built in uh, 1840. Um, went down to Town Hall, tried looking through some records to see what I could find. Um, there's 80 years missing from the time it was built in 1840 up until 1924 is the, where the records begin. And wasn't there something that happened around 1824? Um, when the records started, um, a few years after that, it was 1930, um, fire place caught on fire, um, burned out the inside of it, and uh, they never used it again. They sealed it off in front of it. Um, going to be doing some remodeling soon. Uh, knock it down and see if I can steer up any. Any spirits. Yeah, that might stir some things up right there, yeah. But, um, I've had a lot of experiences personally. Um, home alone, um, any hours of the day. I get them first thing in the morning, afternoon, nighttime, middle of the night. Doesn't really seem to bother them when they come out. They, they're always active. There's, um, there's been, uh, several different things from hearing sounds to hearing voices, um, hearing things upstairs move when no one's up there. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty active. <laughs> I've only, I've been here a year now and uh, since I, since I bought the house and moved in. And, and I'm sh and you said that you, uh, you've been told about the house before you bought it. Yes. I, I was told the guy that I bought it from, um, he, uh, he told me about some experiences, things that happened. Um, I was told by uh, friends, well, friends of their friends, um, different things. He said there's a lady upstairs. Um, I was actually told by a few of the people down at Town Hall, things that they've heard. I was asked if, you know, if it was haunted. And I said, I, I don't like the word haunted. I said, it's occupied. <laughs> it's occupied other than me. <laughs> All right, so we say we uh, go out around the house and see what kind of activity we got. Sure. Make sure where it was. Yeah. All right, let's go. Tour. All right. <laughs> All right, show them what you got. This is one of the first spots. Um, first thing I noticed in the house was this spot right here in front of the window, the small landing, it's it's heavy. You can feel it. It's just it's got a weird weird feeling to it. Like you can tell there's a different vibe in just this area of the landing. I don't know what happened here. Um hard telling with how close below the window was anything could have happened, an accident. Um and we'll go on. This one's just a feeling I haven't okay. had an experience here. Yeah, you do get a feeling right here of a heaviness right here. Like a suppressing feeling. Right. Um, here is one of the bedrooms. I 
Now this room, this room is, it's always cold, always. Um, run heaters in here all the time when I have guests over. Um, kind of a weird, um, weird experiences in here. Um, we've had, the pillows are always messed up. Um, we'll have the beds made usually all the time. Um, <laughs> well, wasn't there a hallway here, you said? You were telling me before? Yeah. You were telling me there's a hallway here. Yeah. Um, before this was a bedroom, it used to be a hallway that ran straight down along the whole side of the house, coming from the front stairs to the back set of stairs that come down to the dining room. Um, again, I don't know if anything happened here. Um, that, uh, that was for the help, I think, right? For the help that used to be in this house? Yes, um, it used to be there's butler stairs that go down to the back, so I imagine they had a, some type of a, a maid or a, a butler for the house. And apparently they were wealthy people um, when they built it. Um, we'll go to the nice next up. bedroom here. Don't mind the mess, uh, remodeling this next, hopefully getting some activity in here. Um, this room, <clears throat> we have, this is where, when I'm downstairs, um, I hear things moving up here. Sounds like furniture, um, a few times we've had the, uh, the balls on the table, we've heard hitting, um, from downstairs in the kitchen. I've had people over, other people have experienced it. Um, it's a very distinct sound with the, with, when the pool balls hit each other, so. So you've actually heard pool balls hitting each other? Yes. Yeah. And there's nobody up here? No. Most no. doors are shut. I know the cat isn't on the table. I know there's nothing up here physically to move it. Unless your cat can play eight ball. <laughs> no. Uh, I also noticed the whole bunch of the flies you got on the floor all over the, the upstairs. Yes, that's a, a daily chore. Um, every day or every other day the, the flies come out like that. I. I don't know why. I've tried all different types of remedies. Um, it's swept and vacuumed on a daily basis, and this is how it is at the end of the day. Uh, usually they're called cluster flies, um, and it could be because the old farmhouse, but they're also known to be around uh, demonic possessions. Um, being an old farmhouse, it's kind of hard to tell, but we're hopefully we're going to find out later if we get answers to that. I hope so. Well, hope I can get rid of them. <laughs> and here's the other, uh, um, this is the upstairs part of the fire fire. Yeah, this one, the, uh, neither of them are operational anymore. Um, they've been bricked off, but apparently the, the fire, when it started in the chimney, came up into this room a little bit. And, uh, it was put out fairly simple. Um, very quickly they put it out. Um, this way. The set of stairs here comes back down to uh, all their stairs that go down to the dining room. Um, <clears throat> this never used to be here with the uh, the bathroom. Well, this was the other hallway that went past this is the where bedroom. Right connected here. through here, yep. Um, this bathroom was never here. When that wasn't a bedroom, there was two doors that went into there. Those were two separate rooms. And the wall, so. you see the you see the wall partition over there. Yeah. All right. Um. So uh, I'm guessing this half would have been where the butler or maid uh, lived or stayed their their quarters. Um. Haven't haven't had too many experiences here, but the stairs just give you. This, the whole set of stairs gives you a very uneasy feeling walking up and down. You get kind of lightheaded a little bit. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's weird. Um, yeah, something about them gives you a weird vibe. Yeah. They're, uh, what is their, I called them suicide stairs because at the bottom, the stair goes from wide down to nothing, the way the angle is. Um, we'll, we'll go down and then. Right. <laughs> so you walk down and... Two 
me. <laughs> you have a nice, nice angle there. That's what I was thinking when I built the house. I just have the stairs as small as possible. All right, so I think we should get this investigation going. Sounds good. Let's, like, let's get everything going here. <laughs> Go ahead and try to talk again. Normal. Here. Take a moment here and say, Hi, my name is Doug. How are you? That's loud. Oh, hi, I'm Doug. <laughs> How are you? What's your name? Good. How are you? I'm Eric. Okay. Make the room go colder like you did last time. Honestly, for a name, yeah. I heard August. August? I think you heard August all the time. Before, I heard August for a name. When I asked, how old are you, they said nine. Huh. So I'm thinking of a nine year old named August or something. And it's definitely, it's not the girl that was over in that room. This was different. Yeah. There was a different one that was. Depressed or depressing, very heavy. And yeah, then we left and the boy came. 